Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Agam and you are in my channel Agam's Tech Tricks. Today I will tell you how to use Elementary OS 6 Beta without installing it on a real hardware. We will not install it on real hardware as it is quite unstable and not good for daily use. Also if we install it, we, it will not be possible to upgrade to the stable release. Like if someday Elementary OS 6 becomes stable and we won't be able to upgrade to the stable one, we will have to to reinstall it which will lose all our data so i will today tell you how to install it on an app called vmware player which emulates an os like current it makes a virtual machine and uses some virtualization technology like it will take your disk space and uh, just install an os on our host like i am on windows 10 so it will not also install on real hardware and it will be an operating system proper operating system so first of all we will download the ISO with this link. I will give you the link below. Here this website it is official website of Element US. They give us all the beta and early access builds. Now after scrolling down I will I have given you direct link of Element US 6. So just scroll down and click this big download 2.55 GB. This click click this button and you will be able to download the ISO. I have already downloaded it so I have not downloaded it. And after downloading this install the VMware Workstation Player app. It is free of course. So here also just scroll and click download now. I have already downloaded it. So first of all open your downloads folder after downloading both files and Click this VMware player to install the app. You will see a USC prompt. Click yes. It will take some time to load as the installer size is big. Here just click next and accept the terms and keep everything as default. No need to change any options. Next, next, next and install. It will take some time to install. Okay, so now this app is installed and just click finish and you may close the file explorer now. And after clicking finish, just open that. Here you see VMware Workstation 16 player. And here this app is now opened and we will create a new virtual machine. If you see a prompt like use for non-commercial use or enter license, just select the using for non-commercial use and click finish and then you will be able to see the screen. Now after clicking create new virtual machine, click this ISO option and select the ISO file we downloaded, element pure 6. And here it is not able to detect the operating system so we will manually select uh, by clicking next. And where we have after click Linux and then version. If you have 32-bit PC, then select Ubuntu, otherwise select Ubuntu 64-bit. I have a 64-bit PC. I will now select it and click Next. Just rename it according to your like and then click Next. And you can now change the disk size like how much disk it will take, how much space it will take on your PC. It will not be that immediately it will take all the 20 GB suppose. Like as the VM fills up the storage it will fill up your hard disk. And like I am keeping it default 20 GB and click store virtual disk as single file. And next. And here click customize hardware to increase your RAM. Like I am giving it 3 GB. And just click close. You can also select from like it was showing 4 GB, 8 GB etc. And then click finish. And now the virtual machine is installed, like it is loaded. Now we have to install the virtual machine. Click play virtual machine. And here you can see booting element QoS live disk. And here if you see this, download VMware tools for Linux, just click download and install. 
if you want to see the details click it it will like download the tools so that we can install it on the whole vm currently and after if you see the usc prompt click yes and then close and the vm is now checking the integrity of the iso now it is booting it will take some time and if you are able to see this login screen don't type anything it will automatically log in like it has logged in now okay now the machine is booted uh, now i will click english and if you are able to see this all blank sometimes the machine gets stuck maybe it's slow just wait for it now it is resume and click english and now click united states now i will click this again and default now the language is set just click try demo mode and as the vm resolution is little small so just click tab four times like one two three and four and now click enter because we are not able to see the next and cancel button so clicking tab four times will direct us to the next button now first in the bootable usb only i will tell you to install the vm tool so we can increase the resolution and then we will install the machine first open this terminal and type sudo apt install open minus vm minus tools open minus vm minus tools desktop i will give you the command in the description also and in this video also just after typing click enter and click and type y and enter make sure your pc is connected to the network otherwise it will show error as it has to download packages now vmware tools are installed for the bootable usb only like this bootable iso only just minimize and maximize it now you can see we are able to see this big screen like it is enlarged now so we will have no problem installing and now just go to the application and install elementary os now we will install it on a vmware english united states select and then english us and default and now click clean install and clean install now it will show you the disk click this disk vmware virtual s and click erase and install and don't encrypt like it will ask you for the password again and again on every boot so don't encrypt otherwise if you want encryption you can choose password I will use do and it and now it is installing the virtual machine you can see all the details of installing here okay now elementary s6 is installed and we will click restart device it will restart the vm and now we were in the vm bootable iso and now it is installed so let us wait for it to reboot okay now it is saying please remove the installation medium and press enter so it automatically the vmware automatically unmounts the iso and just click enter now and now you can see it is started booting just ignore these errors which are coming now 
now click English and United States just select your language and now we will create an account it all depends what you have to create choose any password and click enter and now you can see our account is created just enter our password we wrote and click next and now you can see our elementary OS is installed just click next next and if you want dark look you can select dark mode I am going with dark mode and click next enable location services then it depends if you want night light or not then next again next and get started now our elementary is installed now again we have to install the VMware tools like now it we have to install it only one time and everything will work as default this is the final machine just enter the commands I will give you in the description also and press buy and after that just enter the password which you set for your account and click enter Go. Okay, so now it is just click Y and next. I did this installing. And after it is installed, just reboot the machine to refresh everything on the VM. And if you see this error, just click this and shut down and just click the restart button. is now booting okay so now if you are able to see the small resolution again just minimize it minimize it and maximize it so now you are able to see this full resolution also you can go full screen so and just click this so now we are able to use it like it is on a real machine but it is virtually it will take some time to load and now on the every boot it will show this it is elementary OS default and just click get started now our machine is installed and you can update packages and use this like default like if we use a with, uh, actual OS so thanks for watching my video, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also don't forget to join my telegram channel at Great Tech Tips.